Hey, what's up? John Sonmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got another book review for you, catching up on my book reviews here. So uh, this book is, uh, and you can check out my list of book reviews here if you want to see a playlist of all my book reviews. Um, I hate to give it a sort of negative book review, another one, but um, I re read Ryan Holiday's Ego is the Way. I was extremely excited about this book because I really enjoyed his Obstacles Away. In fact, I actually did an old book review on the Obstacles Away here. Uh, and you can check out the book. It's a really, really good book. But Ego, uh, or do, did I say Ego is the Way? Uh, this book is called Ego... <laughs> uh, what is it? Ego is the Enemy. That's the, that's the name of the book. And it... I've been waiting for this, right? But uh, I just feel like the the book did not quite meet the expectations. I, I felt like it was a good book and have a good message. And again, maybe it's because I've heard this message so far, uh, you know, so many times before. But um, I felt like some of the examples were stretched in history, and that uh, perhaps Ryan was going through a difficult part in his life, and maybe had faltered a little bit. And that's you know, he's writing from from a, a place that was not a place of strength. Like, an obstacle of the way, I feel like Ryan is riding from a place of strength. And, you know, uh, Ryan's a great guy. I actually spoke to him, uh, you know, got to talk with him on the phone. And I did, uh, I, I've written for his his online paper, his, or that he's editor for The Observer, for The New York Observer. And so, I don't, you know, he's an awesome guy. But I do feel like, yeah, the obstacle of the way, he was in his stride. He was in his a place of strength, where this is, came from maybe a place of of not as much strength. But I do think the book was written excellently. I think that the points are mostly good. The last few chapters of the book were actually really excellent. That's probably the best part of the book. It's essentially about the idea that, you know, ego gets in the way of a lot of things. And, you know, it's got, it's a, it's written just like uh, Ryan's past books, like The Obstacles Way of Using Historical Stories. Same thing, if you're familiar with Robert Greene, uh, and you like this approach of using stories from history, uh, then you'll you'll probably like this book and like some of the stories here. There's some good stories from history, definitely, but I, I do feel like that ego in that, in the way that it's defined, is not quite as hinder as much as much of a hindrance as as the way that uh, that Ryan kind of portrays it here. Um, I feel like he's sort of gotten tired of chasing things, and so he's sort of. Um, uh, you know, kind of tune that down. Uh, you know, there, I, I think, I guess what I'd say is missing is the hunger, right? And that's, some of that has to be driven, not necessarily by ego, but by ambition. And I think that when you completely eliminate ego, you, you tend to eliminate ambition to some degree. Not that, you know, and, and there's different ways that people define ego, but I think ambition is an important ingredient in success. And I feel like the book sort of uh, quells that or tries to uh, you know dampen e dampen ambition through dampening ego I think the, the message of, of, of dropping ego is, is is important and definitely learning from failures and being able to be humble but uh, there, there has to be a certain you know I think thread of arrogance thread of not necessarily arrogance but extreme confidence or ambition that has to run through you in order to be able to do really great and phenomenal things. You have to, you know, think extremely highly of yourself, I believe, in order to be able to, you know, push the envelope, to push hard enough. And I'm not sure that some of these historical examples quite paint the, the accurate picture. I think it's it's sort of cherry-picked. So, uh, but again, I don't mean to bash the book because I, I feel like it is a solid quality book and there's a lot of good lessons in there. It's just, you know, in comparison to Obstacles Away, I didn't feel like it was as valuable and is as many lessons to learn, whereas Obstacle is the way I just, you know, devoured that book and read it multiple times. But I still recommend the book, just, again, not as highly. I'd probably give it four out of five stars, maybe 3.5 out of five stars, honestly, if um, just, uh, just my personal view on it. Uh, could also be because I, you know, have already encountered many of these things and, and I have a slightly different viewpoint on this but like I said, if if anything, the last section of the book, the last chapters, on really dealing with failure and not letting that get in the way, uh, I feel like that is more of the the Ryan that uh, that I know <laughs> that I, that I think is more representative of his his full character and his beliefs. Where I feel like 
the first part of the book is sort of a defeatist. Uh, I've sort of screwed up and I'm not sure. And here's why I think I screwed up, which which is, you know, valid. You know, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's good that Ryan's able to put that out there. But anyway, uh, I definitely would recommend checking out the book, but I can't give it my highest recommendation. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you'd like to see the other book reviews that I've done, you can check them out here. Take care.